हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस गेम्स फिर जाना और आज हम लोग फिर से खेलने जा रहे हैं हॉगवर्ड्स लेगेसी तो लास्ट टाइम हम लोगों ने कुछ बीस पकड़े थे दस बीस बीस पकड़े थे एंड उनको यहाँ पे लाके हम लोगों ने छोड़ा बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग था मज़ा आया बहुत ही एंड वन मिनट या बहुत ही मज़ा आया एंड फिर हम लोगों ने उनसे भी अपने कुछ कुछ सामान निकलवाए फैदर एंड अदर थिंग्स मैंने उनको ला के डर लगा लेकिन एक चीज़ है कि हाँ मैं इनको अब अपग्रेड कर सकता हूँ जो भी मुझे चाहिए ये उसे अपग्रेड कर देता है जैसे अगर ये फैदर चाहिए रेस्ट्रियल हेयर चाहिए मुझे अब ये चाहिए तो ये और अपग्रेड हो जाएगा यहाँ से मैं इसको अपग्रेड कर सकता हूँ अब एंड यही है अभी तक जो हुआ है और अब देखते हैं आगे हम लोग और क्या कर सकते आप सब पोर्शंस भी यूज करेंगे फाइट में अभी तक मैंने यूज नहीं किया ना पोर्शंस यूज करेंगे डोरेंस और ऐसे कुछ ये मुझे मिला था तो मैंने इसे इधर लगा दिया इस टाइम आप लोगों ने देखा ही होगा मैंने अंधेरा रखा है क्योंकि अंधेरे में ही हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं अंधेरे में थोड़ा लाइटिंग मुझे ज़्यादा अच्छी लग रही है ऊपर से देखो कैंडल्स भी हैं इधर पेड़ भी उग गए हैं मुझे इधर ज़्यादा अच्छा लगा चलो चलते हैं अब क्या करना है और अभी पता छब्बीस परसेंट ही हुआ मैंने इतने सारे मतलब वो बना दिए पार्ट्स और की बात है कितना बड़ा गेम है कहाँ जाना है इसमें से मिलने क्या करेंगे कॉम्पिटिशन नहीं करना आपको अभी एड अ ट्रेट टू एन आइटम ऑफ क्लोथिंग ये भी इधर से ही करना है <coughs> मैंने मैं स्टेंटिकल कैसे यूज करूंगा मैं जाना कि डर है
It's like a place right out of a storybook. If you're here for my wares... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. <coughs> Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Welcome, welcome. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking travelling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Revelio. Hmm, seems a pleasant enough little place. Alohomora. Rebellion.
Boxmore Hawks Main Station. Revelio. Oxmer situation ahead. Hmm. Hogs meet here I Shall come. Look. Pushing a plow is good, honest work. Revelio. Hello, uh, go. Incendio. Confringo. Revelio. मार्क दिखा रहा है रेवेलियो
So yeah, Hawksmith Station Revelio. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time. What you got? It's Try a... Try it moving. Not right, Shire. Oh, it's a nippler! Confringo! So are we. Revelio. Revelio. Brilliant. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now. For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Hmm. Pleased to see Arn has his belongings back. Ranrock and his loyalists will think twice before trying that again. Pan Sobe. Okay, so here we will get the beast from here. Yes, it's a beast. That's been a pleasure. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio.
Confirmed. Revelio. Confringo. That's that. Settled. Confringo! Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hey, Dick, your friends see gold, they go. He's a share on symbol, can't take her. Shall I have the courage to go into the forest? Kelly, okay, okay. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. 
and I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. उधर जाना था तो इधर क्यों मार्क अरे यार ये दूसरी जगह का मार्क This place has seen better days. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rob Revelio had a hand in his disappearance. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this.
ये इतना पड़ा पड़ूंगा नहीं बाद में Revelio. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had my dock with me. Come now, don't be stingy. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Alohomora. Revelio. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Revelio. Lol. Yeh bhi hota hai guys. Jado chahi se girne se. Kyu hua ye kyu hua. Chest ke lalach mein hua. Jo bhi hua.
Revelio. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Wonder who lives here. Revelio. Revelio. Ah, up a Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? What do we have here? Alohomora. Revelio. Dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. ये अंदर में है। Seriously? Oh ऐसे। Revelio. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? 
No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Dear Serona, a gem, has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I can certainly try and find some for you. That would be wonderful. I'm worried about the travelling vendors and would love to get them more Wigan World potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practising charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Out around Fellcroft for something to poach. When that to be is the best time to strike. It's as if nature herself lends a veil beneath which to orchestrate one's treachery. Is the the as tough as it sounds. The castle, Revelio. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. Your poaching days are over. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Descender. Accio. Depulso. Confringo. Revelio. Gallant man. Lewd, Mr. Lumos. Revelio. I should investigate. Incendio. Confringo. Defendo. Accio. Incendio. Is that MC? Would you jump? That must be bad. Incendio. Defendo. Accio. Incendio. I'm not sure Madame Beaumont would want to know what really happened to him. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Revelio. An 
entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Hmm. Cheek. I don't want to take Miller. Lumos, Repero. Repero, Nico. You want to come back on pudding? Mistook you for a troll the other day. Have Ranrock to blame. Revelio. 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 Tadego. Stupefy. Akio. Confringo. Incendio. Confringo. Revelio. Revelio. Huh. 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 
अरे थ्री कर लो right out of a story book I do hope my brother is all right Madam Beaumont I believe I have some news of your brother Badolf what do you know of my brother I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. W what? No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Badolf! But mind yourself. Beyond our borders, Ranrock's loyalists have taken hold here. Hello again, Mrs. Brottle. Hello, dear. Was there something else I could help you with? Where did you say I should go to harvest the hawk lumps and find the box of letters? In a cavern in the hills, just southwest of our hamlet. So location the car I came up. Location near the car. Better me how good Jackie class Lilo. रूम में चलना चाहिए अभी रेवेलियो हॉक्समेंट में जाके बेचना चाहिए था मुझे पहले इन्वेंट्री फुल हो गई है Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Revelio. I didn't touch your helm. But thank you for making me the first object of your suspicion. One of Renrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. उधर क्या कर रही है an object there are you either let me answer you don't know who you're playing with no i don't you are postponing the inevitable oh. akio <laughs> let me answer <sighs> How childish! Uh, uh. Akio! Ha! Love you, sir! Do you think this is funny? He has two minutes, so I'm going to go. Love you, sir! Wait till I'm on solid ground. Depulsa. Oh yeah. Oh. One camp down, one more to go. Let's go, man. Station, Jara. Revelio. One less human to worry about. You will regret coming here. Ah. Akio. Nice to run, Nazara. Incendio. Incendio power. I work for you. I'm going to go home. Shut it. Revelio. Someone's Akio. Incendio. Window. I work. Uh. 
Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Revelio. Both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Station Jana Charata me then kya kya kar raha. These rocks have seen better days. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. कैसे गया था स्टेशन में Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Does it get any more cozy than Hobbit? Revelio. Hmm. 
चलो बोर्ड चलते हैं वैसे चलो टाइम तो हो गया आज के लिए बस कैसे इतना ही मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक क्लिक की वॉचिंग स्क्रूज फ्यूज